What's up everybody, Jesse Slot City Fishing. Uh, it's really nasty weather outside today and I thought I would take this opportunity to handle a topic that a lot of you guys are asking about right now. Uh, one of my surf fishing videos from last Pompano season is going like mini viral right now. It's getting a couple thousand views uh, every, every couple days. And uh, the majority of the comments are asking about uh, surf fishing rigs. Uh, in that one video, I show you one way to tie uh, one of my favorite surf rigs, but there's several ways to tie it. And that's just one of the mini surf rigs that I really like to use uh, to target different types of species in different situations. Um, but before we get into that, if you hadn't heard of Slot City Fishing, uh, this channel is three brothers. Two of us are active duty military. Uh, we do a lot of travel videos, kayak fishing, um, boat fishing, surf fishing. We, we really do it all, man. So if uh, you enjoy this video, check out some of our other stuff. Uh, I promise you, you'll like it and you'll, you'll learn some stuff. But uh, let's get into these rigs today. What I'm going to teach you is going to be a double dropper surf rig, a three-way swivel rig, and then a slider rig for live bait. I got a uh, whiteboard out here with some of my kids yarn. That way it'll be really contrasty. My GoPro set up, that way you can see really good. And then um, we're going to show you how to hand tie some of these things. And then one of my good friends, he came up with uh, this rig board, which is just a plank of wood with some nails in it or some dowels or whatever. And with this rig board, uh, you can tie your own double dropper surf rigs in uh, you know, a little less than a minute to a minute and a half once you get good at it. And you can fill up a whole big bag full of surf rigs. And I'll link his video, that way you can make this thing yourself. It only takes about five minutes. And uh, yeah, you'll be more equipped to go out there, tie your own rigs, save some money. You'll get the satisfaction of knowing that you did it yourself and uh, just have a good time. So let's get into it. All right, guys, first rig I'm going to teach you how to tie is the double dropper surf rig. This is probably the most popular surf rig. Uh, Y'all have probably already seen it. Uh, if you already know how to tie this thing, I'm going to show you how to tie it with a rig board, which you probably haven't seen, and then you can tie those things super fast. But uh, for those of you guys who are new, uh, double dropper rig, it is uh, this guy right here, which consists of a barrel swivel. And then you got hooks on dropper loops attached to a coast lock barrel swivel and then to a surf weight. Uh, th these are made by the sinker guy. These are really great weights. I'll put a link in the description. These are good because like they dig down into the surf and then if you pull it, the prongs flip back and it'll drag back in really, really smooth. But that's what you're gonna need. And now I'll show you how to hand tie this guy first cut the length of line that you want your dropper loop to be and that's a matter of preference and it depends on your area you pick how long uh, you want it to be I'm gonna make this one kind of short that way it fits into the camera frame but you're gonna get your barrel swivel thread it through one of the eyes and then you're gonna pull it like so that way you got your one end and then back and then this is called a clinch knot you're just gonna make a loop like this just putting it right over it and then you're gonna hold it in between your finger and your thumb like that and then you're gonna go up behind it I do it four times that's all you need one two three, four, and then you're gonna pull it. And this is why it's called a clinch knot, because now you can just clinch it down onto that swivel, cut your tag in. And this is the swivel that's gonna attach to your main line off of the spool of your reel. Now I wanna show you two different ways that you can attach your hooks to your double drop rig. The first way is uh, my way of doing it, and it's kinda lazy. Uh, because you can't take the hooks off the rig after this, you have to cut them off. But uh, I find that I can get, you know, probably between five and 10 trips off of one rig uh, if I use fresh water and rinse it after I go. Uh, and I use the same hooks and stuff pretty much every time. So this is what I do. Uh, pretend that this is the eye of your hook right here. You're gonna go through it and then pull it to where you want it to be lengthwise on your rig we'll say uh, right about there. Then you're gonna grab that, 
put it in your open hand, pull it, put your two fingers out, your middle and your index, and you're gonna wrap it around it like that, and then just go through that hole right there, and then pull it. There you go, and that's your drop. And then the problem with this though, is if you only do one of those knots, if you pull on this harder, that knot's gonna slip, and then that knot's gonna go all the way to the eye of your hook. So what I do is I tie another one of that same knot. Pull it, and now you'll see this knot is gonna cinch against that one. And now that knot, if it slips, it's gonna hit that other knot and it's not gonna move. It's gonna stay that length. So that's, that's my preferred way of doing it. Another way that people do this, and this makes it to where you can change your hooks out all the time. So if you're catching only small stuff, you can step up to a bigger hook uh, to weed out all the small guys. Or if you're finding out that only like whiting is in your area or like small species of fish, you can downsize your hooks to a smaller hook. So the way I do that, is uh, I just grab it where I want my loop to be. It's very similar, except for this, the, this isn't attached right here. And then you tie that same uh, double overhand knot. This is called a surgeon's knot. You can use this for a ton of different stuff. Like so. And then you'll see that that knot is going to cinch onto the other one just like before. So if that knot slides, it's gonna hit that knot and then it's not gonna move. And then you just loop your hook onto, or you loop the line onto the hook. So grab that loop, put it through the eye, like so. And then with that loop, feed the whole hook through that loop. And now it's looped on there. And then this is pretty useful because if you want to take that uh, that loop off of there or that hook off of that loop, all that you do it is way easier with actual fishing line. Uh, you just pull it through. And this is a cool technique because uh, you can use any size line, any size hooks. You can make your own sabiki rigs. You can make big stuff for big fish. And that's it. That's what that's what we got so far for your double drop. Uh, now you're gonna want to attach your coast lock. And it's just that same uh, clinch knot that we tied on this uh, first swivel. So through the eye. You're gonna have both ends. Make your loop just by crossing over the front of it. Pinch it between your index and thumb, and then go through it four times. One. Two. Three. Four. Cinch it. Cut off your tag end. And then you can attach your your weight uh, to that coast lock. Like so. this stuff out the way and then this is your double drop rig uh, you want to space these out further apart I just made it short like this that way you can uh, it all fits in the camera frame but that's your double drop loop this is good for uh, like all on the Gulf Coast uh, East Coast of the United States for pompano whiting uh, black drum redfish pretty much anything that you can catch in the surf from the shoreline between the first second sandbar and even after the second sandbar i wouldn't use this for big uh, species of fish like a uh, bull reds uh, tarpon uh, giant black drum i'm going to show you uh, two other rigs that you can use 
to target those big guys. But uh, now I'm gonna show you how to tie this same rig on this rig board. And I'm gonna put a link to how you actually make this with the, the dimensions of the wood and the uh, nails. This whole thing probably costs less than I don't know, 10 bucks, maybe even five bucks. If you you probably already have this stuff in your house, uh, but you can tie this same rig uh, very, very fast with this rig board. All right, guys, so this is uh, a double dropper rig board. Uh, this one my buddy made for me. Uh, thanks, Steve, he put Slot City on it. Um, but yeah, you can, you can make these things real cheap. The link for how to make it's in the description. Um, when you're actually using this thing, uh, it's cool because the nails, you can put your spool onto it. Um, but what you're gonna do is this, your spool is gonna be attached to this nail in the back, all right? Uh, but first you're gonna get one of your barrel swivels. Nah, that's a coast lock. Barrel swivel. That same clinch knot that we made before. Up behind, do the loop. One. Two. Three. Four times, super easy. Clinch it, cut the tag. Now, uh, with your rig board, you're gonna want some kind of clip, but you don't need that right now. And you'll see in uh, Mr. Chip's video that makes these, he uses a different kind of clip. But you're gonna get that barrel swivel, you're gonna put it over that front nail, all right? And this is where the, the magic happens with this thing. You're gonna go over the front nail, behind the second nail, behind the third nail, then up over that front nail, back over this one, make a triangle, then back over this one, over that one. And now you have this little area right here, these two lines. What you're gonna do is cross them over each other like six times. So grab the bottom one, over the top one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you're gonna grab the line off this front nail, put it through that loop that we just made, and then pull it. Then you're gonna go over this middle nail, and then Take these two off, and then cinch this down. And this works a lot better with fishing line, but it's harder to see in video. Boom, that's it. And then you loop your hook on, just like I showed you before. And that's one. Then you're gonna get your clip. Clip it right here. Put it on that front nail. And then repeat. And then you'll see once you get fast at this thing, check it out. through it over that one off and then cinch and this will cinch way better with fishing line not yarn bam now you got your loop grab you another hook over boom boom there you go and then what I do to get the rest of the length is I grab that knot, I put it around this nail, go to the end of the board, cut it, attach my coast lock with that same clinch knot, one, 
two, three, four, pull it, boom, cut your tag in, attach your weight right there, but now you can see, pull this thing off, and it makes you a perfect double dropper rig that's the same size, like consistent every single time, and it's way faster to tie. So that thing is awesome. And then it'll make it to where you can fill up. Like I, I tied like 20 of these things in 20 minutes with this. So uh, super good. Uh, check out uh, Chip Brundage's video on how to make this rib, rig board. It's definitely worth it. Uh, consider subscribing to his channel and then if you end up making one of these things do me a favor and leave a comment in his video saying that slot city fishing sent you all right so that's how you tie uh, your double drop rigs now we're going to get into uh, two rigs for some bigger fish uh, one is the slider rig where you use one of these guys and then the other one is a uh, three-way swivel rig and uh, you target big big species of fish uh, with these two rigs. All right guys, the next rig I'm gonna show you is a slider rig. And this rig is really cool because you use this little guy right here, it's called a slider clip. And what that does is you can drop your main line off of your reel into that little slot right there and then close it. And it kind of locks in right there. And then it makes it to where uh, when you cast, that is going to slide down and hit this barrel swivel. So you can cast it really, really far. And then the cool thing is, is once it's down there, you can either loosen up the drag on your spool, or you can use live liner reels. Like uh, this is all that I use when I surf fish is live liner reels. It has a secondary drag on the bottom that you click off. And then now, uh, the drag is very, very loose uh, coming off of here, and you can tighten it up on the bottom, tighten it or loosen it. And then uh, you'll start to hear this thing go once the fish takes it. Then you just reel down, and it'll flip up onto your top drag up here, which you can make way heavier. And you don't got to mess with uh, adjusting the tension of your drag while you're actually fighting the fish because. Like you don't know how big that fish is or how much drag you have set anymore once he's pulling and then you're messing with it. So uh, this is a really fun way to fish. I have like six of these reels. Um, but the whole concept behind it is, say here's your hook and you got your bait and you have the live liner set to the good tension or uh, you know your spool's backed off. They can take this bait and then they can swim with it and you know chew on it for a while so like imagine if you were eating a cheeseburger and then you took a good bite out of it and you were enjoying it and then uh somebody ripped it out of your mouth that's what happens when there's tension on the line that your that your bait is on um and then off of that uh slider clip you just attach your coast lock in your weight so your weight is stuck and then the fish they can take that bait and then run with it for a while and then once you hear your clicker going off, all you do is like start reeling in and then it'll go down and it'll hit that uh, swivel and then you reel them in. So real quick, uh, the only knot that's different in this from the other ones, and I'll show you how I tie it real quick, is you make a surgeon's loop on the piece that goes to this uh, clip on the bottom. So it's gonna be your main line off your reel through the slider clip, clinch knot to the swivel, clinch knot to your leader, and then clinch knot to your hook. And we've already showed you how to tie those a bunch of times. And then for the weight, what you're gonna do is another surgeon's knot, which we also made earlier, but we didn't use it like this. So I'll show you, is you make your loop just like we did before pull it through and do it one more time and 
now you have this loop that will attach onto here and then clinch knot to your barrel swivel to your weight so when you sling this thing out it's all going to fly out there like that and then your weight's going to set and then just like we talked about the fish they can take that and run with it and then once you hook them start reeling it in it'll hit that swivel and then you pull the whole rig in together so that's a slider rig, uh, really good for targeting uh, bigger species of fish like sharks, uh, bull reds, big black drum, tarpon. Uh, use live bait for this or like big chunks of dead bait, like a big mullet head or a live mullet, you know, or a, a big chunk of bonita or something for a shark. Uh, it's a really fun rig. All right, the next one and probably the easiest one to tie is your three-way swivel rig. This is also uh, to catch big fish, uh, bull reds, big black drum, uh, whatever's in your area, striper, uh, this will work. Um, this is all clinch knots, so I'm not gonna show you how to tie the knots, that way I, I'm not boring you, but it's that same coast lock on your weight. Then you're gonna go to your three-way swivel right here, and then on another side, you're gonna go to your hook, and then on the other side, you just go to your main line to your reel. And then what this rig is gonna go do for you is it's gonna keep your rig in the same spot. And uh, it's, it's another really, really easy way to catch big fish is your uh, three-way swivel. For this one, I would use big line. So there you go. That's my three favorite surf fishing rigs. Uh, the double dropper first, then the slider rig, and the uh, three-way swivel. Uh, that'll help you pretty much catch any kind of species that you want. Once you learn how to tie these things, you can change the pound test of all your line, the material that it's made out of, upsize, downsize your hooks, uh, you know, and then you can modify these rigs. Like instead of a double drop, you can make it a triple drop, or you can downsize to like, you know, 10 pound test line and tie six loops on there and use it as a sabiki rig with some little tiny rigs to catch bait. But uh, yeah, if you uh, found this video useful, you enjoyed it, please do us a favor and like the video leave some type of a uh, comment you know it doesn't matter what it is uh, likes and comments tells youtube that what uh, the content that we're making is really good and then that will boost it out of suggested content to other people and that's how youtube channels grow so uh we would really appreciate that from you guys if you don't have any of this stuff that we were using today we do have an amazon affiliate storefront slot city fishing the link is in the description of this video and you can buy any of this stuff and a small kickback of that money will go back to us to help support the channel uh, to, you know to get more gear make cooler videos and uh, all that kind of cool stuff, but yeah We really appreciate you guys and uh, we'll catch you in the next video